plaintiffs have reluctantly concluded that, under these very unique circumstances, it will be too disruptive and counterproductive to the organizational plaintiffs' respective missions to impose a remedial plan in time for the 2018 election, now little more than two months away, they wrote. Plaintiffs still strongly believe and have always maintained that every election conducted under an unconstitutional plan visits irreparable harm on voters, they wrote. That said, given these unique facts, plaintiffs have concluded that a statewide redistricting just weeks before election day would not be a good government solution. The court had suggested North Carolina could modify its elections to hold primary contests before the new Congress is seated or to eliminate primaries altogether. The plaintiffs objected to both ideas, saying it would not serve voters well. Holding elections at non-standard times tends to depress turnout, particularly of young and minority voters, they wrote. And while potentially lower turnout, standing alone, is not a reason to delay implementing a remedy for a constitutional violation, because these populations tend to support the Democratic Party, it is entirely possible that this proposal would actually hurt rather than help, the electoral prospects of the Democratic Party. Hurting Democrats, they wrote, is exactly what the legislative defendants sought to do through the unconstitutional 2016 plan.